Eleme Vokreni. Me? Allow me to train. Allow me to train. Yeah, I would say yes. Yeah. Me? I would say yes. Yes. Yes? We have been climbing for some time, but I feel that our destination is near. Ah, look there. It is the path that Amanjaro spoke of, the one that winds like the tail of a great beast. Allow me to train. Life grows thick here, even in the middle of these dead mountains. It must be the presence of the Dragon Spirit that makes this place possible. Know that we should continue our search. The Dragon cannot be far. This crystal, it is shaped like the heart of a dragon. I do not think we should harm it. 
since that could serve only to anger the dragon. Know that perhaps... Know that I feel a great energy coming from this crystal. Dragonkin must be drawn to it and covet its power. They watch us for now. We must be careful. Yeah, something you need. All that goes on between a man and a woman. What do you think? I'm no noble to cloak it all up in pretty words and painted shields. After a while, though, you start to see the person, and if you don't respect them, then you leave. Simple as that. If I lose respect in you, you better believe it. to disturb me here? Were I not chained to this deathless existence, I would scatter your shattered bodies to the winds for your trespass. Yet instead, you roam unchecked within my remains, like parasites. What promises shall you make this time? You no doubt come at the heels of your masters, though they are not present. Lies! Why else would you be here in this one scar in the earth, were it not at the command of the Irfan? I may rest upon the brink of death, but do not think me blind to what transpires on my grave. You are here because you again need my help. Though you always refuse the price, did you think you could cage a power of the plains? I will show you what it means to be caged. Together we shall remain here, to contemplate, to despair, to rot. I have been here for millennia. How long do you think you will last, mortal? Shadow? What shadow? The King of Shadows has returned to this plane. 
know that if he is not stopped... This changes things. While I hate the Irfan, that is but a pale flame compared to my hatred for the King of Shadows. I have not heard that cursed name for a lifetime. My name is Nolaloth Karagazant, but I know the weaknesses of the minds of mortals in shaping such words. You may settle with Nolaloth. Once I was a great power, an ancient being of crystal and might. Once, now no longer. Nolaloth, you were the worm of legend that fought the King of Shadows. Are you or are you not of Irfan? Dead. Then my last shreds of hope go along with them. It is a wonder that the endless decades have not driven me mad. I have waited for them for thousands of years. I was promised a new life, and instead, I have been abandoned, left to languish in this insignificant crack in the world. And when an eternity had passed, another fragile mortal appeared, no doubt seeking power. He called himself Armangero and claimed to be of Irfan. You know this man. And I should trust you for what reason? That is not enough. Tell me now why you have come to torment me. I would never fight it again. Even if I could. And how am I to help, as impotent as I am now? For the mere chance of having a hand in destroying my adversary, I will help you. Ask your questions. Yes, I did, and you surely will as well. Do not think that such a being may be brought down by boasts or resolve. I was humbled. In all the plains, no creature would dare risk my presence. And so the jewels of the Ilfan Empire blinded me from the threat. The elves and dwarves knew all was lost, so they promised me that which they could afford to lose. The people of Ilfan were desperate. Their once defender, known only as the Guardian, had been corrupted and transformed into the shadowy being that haunts you today. The King of Shadows was once the Light of Ilfan. I do not know his identity. I cared little. The history of your people is littered with many such lapses in judgment, granting mortals power beyond the control of the ones they are intended to serve. The King of Shadows was once but an ordinary mortal. A great champion, they called him. But still, as fragile as the others, he was made into a creature fueled by the weave, tied into the fabric of magic. Its corruption was not the fault of the Elfon Empire, directly. The Guardian was built to protect them from the Netherese, a kingdom that had learned many of the secrets of Elfon. 
However, an archmage of Netheril named Karsis dared to challenge mortality itself. He absorbed all the magic from the weave to ascend to godhood, and for a brief time, the Guardian was stripped of its life essence. Because the Guardian was a creature of the weave, it needed a replacement to survive. Like all creatures, it desired life, so it drew from the only alternate source of magic, the Shadow Weave. The Shadow Weave is a potent but tainted source of power, and it was not long before the Guardian himself was corrupted. The King of Shadows brought despair and the men of this land wailed loudly enough to get my attention. I answered the pleas out of curiosity. When I confronted the leaders of Ilfarn, they saw me as a potential ally in the fight against the King of Shadows. Never before have I met a being as relentless in its devastation. It exists by drawing upon the life and strength of others. As I grew weaker in battle, it only became stronger. Shadow triumphed that day. Defeat. Shortly after I first clashed with the King of Shadows, I knew that escape was necessary. The Guardian of Ilvan was relentless. It fought me until I fell from the sky. I don't know their rituals or methods. The winds chose to blow a certain way that day. Ultimately, chance is the great equalizer of the planes. It is by chance that worlds are created, that gods are made, and civilizations destroyed. And it is only by chance that you may succeed. The Ilfarn. I fought the King of Shadows and paid the price for my arrogance. When it left, I was but a broken shell on a lesser plane. Atop this empty rock, I awaited the end. Presumably, your progenitors found a way to triumph despite my loss. They came to me and bound me with primitive magics. The years floated by like specks of dust in the still air. No one returned, and not even death could grant me peace. But many lifetimes later, they arrived, the Githyanki. I had a conversation once with men of the Astral Plane. <laughs> they came with shimmering blades in hand and desperation reflected in their eyes. Always it is about this King of Shadows. I have been deceived countless times by those it torments, and the Githyanki were no different. They came and pleaded for advice their pathetic cities having been attacked by your adversary. In a sense, your prisons do not seem to be effective. Of course, mortals lack perspective and can hardly be expected to plan beyond a few thousand years. In truth, the King of Shadows had not yet left its prison. Slowly, it was ripping open a portal into the astral plane. This fissure allowed it to manifest itself in an avatar, a powerful Nightwalker. The Githyanki objected to its presence. 
Your adversary spreads its influence by corrupting its targets until they no longer resemble what they once were. Eventually, all one can see is the shadow. It grows long and distracts us from what casts it. But a shadow can never become more than a weak outline. It may stretch and grow fearsomely large, but always must it circle its master. Your blade is no different. If the sword is to be made whole again, you must look past the pale shadows its broken pieces cast and find the center from where the shadow emanates. If you do not, then there is no way in which the sword may be reformed. Then that is where you must go now, mortal. It will be perilous, but I believe we can use the song portal from the Ilfarn ruins to reach the Guardian ruins on the outskirts of West Harbor. I can see from your eyes that this is what you came for. Now, I must ask of you. Always I have been promised recompense at a later date, even now. My mind verges on insanity with the long years. For tolerating your presence, I make but one demand. Kill me. You wish us to end your life? This life is an abomination. And I am no longer content to wait for chance to rescue me from the void. To kill me, mortal, you must simply destroy my heart. Be warned, it attracts many beings of power that feed from it, as you have already noticed. My body is no more. But in its place, a new kind of life has sprung into being. My heart is all that remains. The last shreds of my life reside within. You may harm it now that I wish it to be so. Go now. I tire of everything. Let us grant it sleep at last. Hurry. Other beings may be drawn to the crystal as we speak. These dragons have only rage in their eyes. Words will not avail us here. Why 
Yeah. Yes. Listening? Yes. Yes. A creature with compassion, my last wonder before oblivion. At last, for the first time in ages, I am freed of my shackles, free to move towards death once again. It feels right. Make your path mine.
for me. Follow me. Let me book rain.
live on green. And they live on green. And they live on green. Me? And they live on green. Yes, 